Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use noise reduction in cool editing program. Uh before I start, I just want to let you guys know that this this um way of using the noise reduction is no different than any other editing program. So don't think, you know, because I'm using cool edit, don't think be don't believe that um you can't use the same technique with any other software program. It's used the same way. It's just each program have their own way of doing certain things. So to get straight to the point, I'm going to go to Core cool Edit, and as you can see, I already have it open. Now, um, before I play anything, just letting you guys know this is hip hop and it is cussing in it. So if you guys are a little, you know, you know, not into the whole hip hop thing, I'm sorry. You know, this is what I like. But um, the real point is you want to know how to use noise reduction. Okay, now I'm going to play this, and um, before I actually play it, I want you guys to understand that these levels in the sounds, these high levels, pitch levels, you do not want to highlight none of these. You want to find the most lowest pitch levels you can find. Find the most lowest pitch level you can see where my line is pointing at this is a very low pitch level right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight that okay but I'm gonna let you hear it first just an idea okay so as you can see that this part right here is very very it gets very very like low hear it again right there that's the part you want to find you want to find the most lowest sound and you want to highlight that low sound like I said any sounds that's the lowest you want to highlight I don't care how small it is you want to highlight it okay so after you highlight that you're gonna to go to noise reduction you're gonna click on the root and then you'll see noise reduction and you're going to go to get profile from the selection which is the highlight that I just get you're gonna click on that and uh, you're gonna close it now you're going to right click and press um, and select entire wave now you're gonna go back to noise reduction and now it's gonna pretty much compress the whole vocal sound through that one small highlighted selection that I used with the low sound so basically before I you know press OK I'm gonna preview it for preview it for you guys okay so that's what we pretty much heard before right okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna press OK now we're gonna hear the difference now as you can see a lot of the lines a lot of the lines in the sounds has compressed more and more so now you're gonna hear less sound okay now remember editing programs can only do so much okay you have to try your best to already have a clear sound when you're recording your vocals that way it'll be more easier for the program to reduce any other extra sounds that's unnecessary in your songs alright so now we're gonna play
Now, as you can hear it, it sounds very, very, very clean. Of course, you still hear the vocals in the background. That's okay. That's fine. Because the main thing you want is you want everything up front more higher than things you hear in the back. That way, when a beat is playing, you can't hear anything in the back. However, the way I did this vocals, it was through a mic. I mean, not a mic, a regular mic. I'm talking about like a headset mic. So, of course, you know, mine is not going to be perfect. However, when you're doing music and you're recording, you want to be in a very, very, very quiet place, as quiet as possible. That way, when the song is uploaded on your software, it's easier to reduce the, the sounds. Now your vocals, at that point, your vocals will be even way more clear. Way more clear than mine's. So that's pretty much it I mean I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do the rest but yeah that's how you use noise reduction so thanks